So I'm going to turn my words into something new and exciting so that you'll definitely know I'm really not fighting. I feel so full of love and peace. I just want that love to shine. And honestly, guys, I got no better way to be spending my time. I have seen the new spin, uh, the way our words have been took, but I also know my friends, and you guys aren't off the hook. You like that lady's sermon, all spoken in rhyme? Well, she and I had the same message this time. Fox News spinners, sinners, she said. All in the same breath, that's not just in my head, but it's the media distractions and the weighted political leanings that have stripped the Bible of its original meaning. Her point, like mine, no, Jesus Christ, not the version of him that's been taken heist. By the media, which I could endlessly rhyme just to take up a minute at a time, but then where would the content be? An ad for capitalism? That's not me. I'm going to stick to the issue at hand and try and get this message out all over the land, because, yes, by the media, sure, but let's not leave out the Republican right, who's so ready to shout, kill the fags, and you know what? Bring on global warming. Just a sure sign that the Lord will soon be storming into this hateful and evil world of sin, which I am not of. I'm only in. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, taken heist by them that know not his love, seeking to use the power from above to keep the population in their control, tying their trickle-down economics to the matters of the soul? I know the Jesus of my youth and that he's with me today, and when that Jesus comes back, he's going to have a lot to say about the way we took the blessing of his death and rebirth and used it to what? impoverish, imprison, and ruin our earth? In 1300 AD, we don't know what won out. The true gospel of Jesus that Paul went to shout? Or was what we clung to, the religion of the state, a collection of myths, lacking love, full of hate? I can perceive only what I personally see, but there's a vocal contingent of Christianity who's clung to like three of hundreds of laws and is pointing them out to those they find flawed clinging to these rules instead of the love that was sent down to guide us supposedly from above. We only had those laws so that we could understand what it actually meant when God sent this man, man and spirit in one, freeing us from those laws. With his resurrection, they were done. Into the redeeming blood of Christ went they, and when Christ himself sums it up, this is all he's got to say. Love God above all. Never let your neighbor take a fall. You love them and care for that neighbor as if they were your own, and you're not ever going to be denied at the judgment throne.